Hello and welcome to Explore Subnautica. I'm going to be showing you this very simple concept design for a base that I made since the new patch. How it started out was just a few foundations at the bottom. They're not absolutely necessary, but I like to start off with foundations. Helps give you a bit more structure and integrity. And then from the bottom, I just built up with multi-purpose rooms until I got to the surface and then placed my solar panels there for full efficiency. So let's have a look inside. What we've got is we've got plenty of storage. At the moment, what I'm doing is I'm categorizing everything into separate lockers for different things. And that's kind of why I've got this locker just sitting there, just for a little bit of extra storage while I'm doing this. And when I add my moon pool, I'll then be able to get rid of that and transfer some of the things into there. But in the base itself, we've got a double aquarium down here. What I like to do with my large aquariums is that I like to put them below the level that I'm going to be spending most of my time in. And that's so that it doesn't take up the entire room. And it's very easy if I want to access. I just go down to ladder and then in here. And then I can just take out Reginald, which I've put in here for eating because they're the nicest thing to eat. And the creep vine, which is always useful. We've got the base filtration system here that I can collect salt from in order to make cured food whenever I like. We have here the battery charger. You find that fairly near the life pod. And all I did to find it was that I kind of started out the life pod, went around in slightly larger circles, and before long I found all the pieces. And this thing here is the power cell charger. You'll want to find that soon after you find the sea moth, so that you can keep the power cells charged for that. You'll find the power cell charger fragments in the mushroom forest. Incidentally, I also found the moon pool fragments there, so that was quite handy. And what else can I say about this base? Oh yes, at this stage of the game, what I did is that I built it out with a couple of eye corridors in the hatch here to make it easily accessible to the life pod for the fabrication there. But now that I've got a fabricator in there and um, the, all the parts for a moon pool and all the things I need to build it, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct that bit and replace it with the moon pool. And that will double as the base entrance as well. Anytime I want to reinforce a structure integrity, I can just go down to the bottom and add some structural reinforcements. I've got four down there already, and you don't actually need them at the moment because um, there's enough uh, structural integrity in the base for it to hold without all them, but I will need it for when I add them in the because that will that would have um, uh, put me below and caused a few leaks. Another way that I could expand if I want is that I could just put a couple of vertical connectors down here I'll just do that now for you. I can then just put an eye corridor here. It'll have to be a normal eye corridor, not the glass one, because it's connecting to the top. And then I can go in here, construct a ladder. And now here we are at the level below the larger crater. And that's an extra room if and when I need it. And that's pretty much it. That's a simple concept design for a base. Obviously, there's so much more that you can do with bases. The, uh, the imagination is your limit. But this is what I thought would be a good idea just to sort of get started with the game. It has all the things that I think are necessary in it. And I can just expand from here. So I hope you find this useful. And take care of yourselves. Goodbye.